continuing with uh, writing equation of a line now in this video I want to show you from the if you have an equation like this which is the equation of a straight line by just looking at these two numbers you can draw the graph okay of course you have to plot some points so as I explained in my previous video this equation can be compared to the equation y is equal to mx plus c mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept so c is the y-intercept so comparing this equation with this I can say c is equal to negative 3 so what does that mean the this line is going to cut negative 3 on the y-axis so this is negative 3 on the y-axis so that's one point and m which is rise over run is one half that means you have to go one up you have to go one up from this point negative three and two across okay, so this notation will help you what is your orientation or what is the direction where you're going so you have to to plot the next point from this point you have to go one up and two across so this is the next point we'll check this if you want to plot the next point again you go one up so from this point you go one up so let me draw the arrow so that you can see so this is one up and two across and then again you go one up and two across so that you reach this point and again if you want to go one up and two across so these three points in fact two points are sufficient to draw the line so let me draw the line so this is the line okay so that is good enough okay so now how would you check okay so this point so let's write the coordinate if the coordinate is making sense you can all you should always check whether what you wrote is right or wrong so this coordinate is 0 comma negative 3 what is this coordinate this coordinate is 2 comma negative 2 2 comma negative 2 and say and this coordinate so I have to highlight this this point this point is so let's confirm this point these three points this is 6 comma 0 so let's check so what we are saying is when x is 0 when x is 0 y should be 3 so if you put 0 in this equation can you understand y is negative 3 so this is right when x is say 2 when x is 2 so half times 2 is going to be 1 okay and 1 take away so I hope you understand half times 2 is 1 1 take away 3 is negative 2 so when x is 2 y is negative 2 and when x is say 6 y should be what so half times 6 is 3 and 3 minus 3 is 0 so we have confirmed all these three points so the equation of the this equation is right and always write the equation on top of the line so y is equal to half x half x minus 3 okay moving on here yeah, m is the gradient which is negative 3 and you put a number 1 down negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3 okay so this is same as negative 3 over 1 so if you do negative 3 divided by 1 that's going to be negative 3 but we need two numbers to write the gradient so we need a bottom number and a top number or the numerator and denominator and that means you're going 3 down from the y-intercept and 1 across so what is C? C is 4 so it's, this is the first point so you're going 3 down, 1, 2, 3 down and 1 across. Again from this point you go 3 down, 1, 2, 3 and 1 across. Let's plot one more, 1, 2, 3 and 1 across. And all these points, if you go use this pattern, will be on a straight line. Okay, And that's a different way of checking whether you have plotted the points correctly okay so this is a good test so again the y first start with the y-intercept the y-intercept is 4 
and then you're going three down and one across again you went three down and one across so if you keep plotting like this you'll get straight line and you can confirm whether these points are right so let me write the coordinates so this is 0 comma 4 this is how much this is 1 comma 1 this is 2 comma negative 2 and this is how much this is 3 comma negative 5 so confirm that by putting the x coordinate and see whether you're getting the y coordinate using the equation and finally let's look at this okay so yeah what's the y-intercept so c is the y-intercept c is 1 so this is the y-intercept that means you're going you're going 2 down and 3 across okay so the gradient m is negative 3 negative 2 over 3 so from this point you go 2 down 1 2 down and 3 across 1 2 3 so this is the next point you go 2 down and 3 across 1 2 3 I think this is enough and then this is also a way of checking whether if the points are should be on the straight line so let me highlight the line and drag it and move it so the equation of this line is y is equal to negative 2 over 3 x negative 2 over 3 times x plus 1 so the meaning of this is to get the y coordinate from the x coordinate you have to multiply the x coordinate or the x number by negative 2 over 3 and then add 1 